What's up YouTube? In today's video, we're going to be installing my carbon fiber steering wheel. Shouts out to Jacob R. Dottie for, uh, for hooking me up with the info on it. Alright, let's get this bad boy open. This is 50 go. I told you, they're not drinking drive. There we go. Be careful cutting this right here. Matter of fact, do it the safe way and just peel it off. I don't want to scratch shit up. Alright, there you have it. Like I said, uh, I don't know why these buttons are here. But, uh, I don't even know if they work. But, this is like the second one I've seen that the buttons are scratched up. So, I don't know if they just mold these in here. You know, and they just keep them in there or whatnot. But anyway, I'll be replacing those. Okay. This is the back. It's a little loop thing. Like I say, it got little grips back there. Alrighty, next time you see this bad boy, it'll be on the car. Alright, first thing you want to do is take the negative off. You don't want the airbag popping off in your face when you, when you try to take it off. What you want to do next is get you a pick or just a little screwdriver and you're going to want to take these little tabs off right here. There's one here and there's one on this side right here. So just pop out easy like that. Two on the other side. Pop it out easy like that. Now you want to uh, get you an 8 millimeter socket and in there there's two little uh, bolt on each side Now you just want to pull this off slowly. Alright, next thing you want to do is get you a pair of pliers and you want to take these two plugs loose right here. You're going to squeeze the tabs, pull up. Squeeze the tabs, pull up. It's like pulling teeth. Now your airbag is out, you can set that to the side. Now this next one, if you can see it up in there, it's a little tab. You see me pushing it up. You're gonna push that up, and you're gonna wanna pull that one out. And then you wanna come right here and get your 24 millimeter and just bust that loose, and this bad boy should come off.
Alright, and it should pop off. There we go. There that go. And there we have it. Now next you're going to want to slide these off. And we're going to be transferring all this stuff onto the new steering wheel. Alright, so here's my stock steering wheel. I'll probably be selling this. By the time you see this video, 9 out of 10 will probably be gone. I'll probably sell it for 150 with the steering wheel or $90 just for the carbon fiber inserts. So take these out. One thing I don't understand is uh, there's supposed to be a core, you know, I think like a $75 core to ship your old one back. But I don't see no paperwork. No directions, no nothing. But anyway, we'll get it on there. All right, we got them side by side. We got the stock one, and then we got the new one. Um, uh, I think this one is a lot heavier. I'm not sure. Let me see. Yeah, this this one's way heavier. The new one's got to be twice the weight of the uh, of the. The, old one, the new one got to be twice the way as the old one. And I'm looking here, too. Uh, mine says an E on it in the numbers, and this one says J, so hopefully that won't be no problem or nothing like that. But what we're going to do next is we're just going to switch my controllers over to the new one. Like I said, these aren't supposed to come with controllers, but I'm thinking, like, when you send back your old steering wheel, steering wheel for a core... I think they use these buttons just to, uh, just for like a mold or something just to, you know, to get the right fittings. Because there's another guy, um, he got his too recently and they're, they always come damaged. So I don't know if, like I said, they put these in there, then they set the carbon fiber. And then when they're peeling away the stuff, it peels off the paint or whatnot. But that's no problem because I'm going to use my stock ones. So what you want to do is just pop these bad boys out. Unplug them. Get your new one. Pop it out. Unplug it. Slide it in. Push it in. Okay, and then that's it. So now we're ready to put this one back in the car now. I even took some time out and ceramic coated my uh, carbon fiber to give it a little bit more protection I don't know if you can see how shiny it is now compared to what it was this is the stuff I used to uh, put the ceramic seal on my car on my steering wheel um, they sponsor me it's called Bosch with a V like wash but with a V so it's Bosch uh, they sponsor me so they have all kind of clean stuff for your car Glass cleaners, tire sheen, dash, uh, soap, undercarriage cleaner, 
Armor All. They, you name it, they have it all. So if you're interested in any of this stuff, I'll put the link in the description below. And just use uh, this 50 go in the uh, checkout and you'll receive 15% off. So, I don't know. That'll save you a little something, something. But, alright, let's get this bad boy back in the car and see if it works. Slide this bad boy back on there. It's easy. You just want to line these pins back in here. Slide your wires Get this plug, plug this back in here. It's not enough. This one's a little shorter. Push it to the clicks. Get your airbag. You know what? We're not going to do the airbag yet. We're going to put the bolt in. All right. Another thing I forgot to say is I even switched the stickers back. I put my, my steering wheel stuff on there because, like I said, them numbers mean something. So I took the stickers and I switched the stickers the stickers back on the, uh, their steering wheel, too. You know what I'm saying? Just in case I, I go take the car to get serviced or something like that and they need to scan that barcode or something for my airbag or just anything. So I just took the sticker on there too and switched my original sticker on there. You don't have to do it, but I did. Alright, got everything back on. Got the car uh, steering wheel ceramic coated. So, got the uh, center bolt. We got it locked tight on there and we got it torqued down to 41 pounds. Now we're going to put back back on the uh, airbag. Gray to gray. Black to black. Slide it on there. Okay. All right, here we are a few months later. Um, I lost a big clip of this uh, footage, so let me try to explain. With the steering wheels, I mean, that little sticker I keep pointing and talking about, um, those are different options. Mine came with track apps and stuff like that, so I have like a little, little up and down uh, controller on my steering wheel. So everything will plug up the same, but the footage, like I said, that I lost, um, it won't work like it's supposed to. Some things will work, but a lot of things won't so what you have to do is once again I lost the footage is you have to take the whole take that little that little cover off inside and take the whole wiring harness out and switch your wiring harness in there you know um, like I've seen a couple of videos where some of the steering wheels don't come with none of that stuff so you automatically got to tra transfer your guts from your old steering wheel to your new steering wheel so that's what you have to do if you have the track apps and if your controller's different, you need to put your controller stuff in there. Here, let me take a take a let you take a look and uh, <clears throat> see what it looks like. All right, you want to make sure you got your battery unplugged. But what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to take take this little clip off right here, with a couple of Allen bolts, and then behind these right here, it's just a little wiring harness. All this wire thing comes out, and then you uh. Plug yours into it. Just swap your old shit out and put it in here. It has like little hooks. Make a seat in there. And just 
put everything back in there where it fits so it don't get stuck up in nothing and you'll be all right excuse the mess right now the car's all torn apart because i'm always working on something it's all torn apart no seats nothing's inside the car but uh as you can see we're in the car right now and this is what i'm talking about this little button right here controls your apps and stuff like that so you will you know you will have to switch that out if you just came come with the basic ones right there so um this is a look at the car currently a few months later like i said today is thanksgiving and i did make the original video in the beginning of uh august like i said i, I bought the uh, steering wheel in july july or at the end of june it takes about five weeks or so for them to give you the steering wheel you know but they will uh email you with updates and pictures of your uh steering wheel being made you know like without the carbon fiber then they'll show it with uh with this on there and then they'll show you a finished product then once you okay that finished product you'll be see your steering wheel probably within a week or so but there you have it like i said uh i don't have no footage of me driving it but there's really not much to you know show you and driving footage but uh <coughs> you know, better look at it uh, still you know doing its job and whatnot can't say nothing bad about it so i know you can't see it but the whole front end is done You guys can stay tuned for the rest of this uh, interior stuff. Alright, hope you enjoyed that little video right there on my carbon fiber steering wheel. So, how do I like it? It's nice. It's real nice. Um, it's a lot thicker. It's way heavier than the stock one, you know. So you're not really gaining nothing on weight-wise. But appearance-wise, shit it looks nice. Shit looks hella nice. Um, it's a lot thicker. Um... You so say you got the little grips on the back, which is kind of cool, you know, um, you know. Is it an expensive mod? Yeah, it's expensive. To me it was. I don't know about to you. Do I recommend it for somebody who's just starting out on modding their car? No. I would say save your money and uh, do some other mods first. Because the price you pay for that steering wheel, you can get you a cold air intake. You can get you some some kind of exhaust system uh you get you grills you get a whole bunch of different other mods that would do something for your car other than looks and like i said uh that's the only problem i had with it that's why it took me this long to get it because when i first got my car and i got on instagram uh i don't know if it was this company right here or a different steering wheel company and another headlight company they were always in boxes like, hey, let me make you a custom steering wheel. Let me make you some custom uh, halo lights. And I was like, sure, okay. I thought, you know, maybe I was getting it free or whatever. They were trying to sponsor me or whatever. But they were talking about how much it was. And I was like, shit. I mean, for that price, I could have me a set of wheels and some brand new tires or something crazy like that. So I kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. Yeah, I seen a couple of people on uh, YouTube. Jacob, he has it, and uh, Mr. Uh, Bostang, he had it too. Um, Mr. Bostang, I think he got his about three or four days before I got mine. But probably, now that this video's out, probably a month or two ago. But, um, yeah, uh, they, uh, I think he got Alcatara. Jacob got the one, mine's kind of like his. We both got the prepar uh, perforated leather thing on there. So like I said, uh, he was telling me to get it for months and I kept saying, no, 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 I'm happy with my little carbon, my true fiber, carbon fiber, little inserts. But like I said, I finally pulled the trigger and I got it. So big shouts out to Jacob for the, uh, for all the information on where to get it at and whatnot. So you can go follow him. I'll put the link down in the description or down here, up here or wherever it goes. But yeah, it's nice. You know. All right. So there you have it. 
Hope you enjoyed that video. Hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell thing so you'll be notified whenever my videos come out. Um, follow me on Instagram and Facebook at This50Go. Don't drink and drive. Until next time, peace.